Good afternoon, YouTube. Um, I just wanted to wish you guys a belated Happy Thanksgiving and um, Happy Black Friday to those who uh, participate in that. Um, I just wanted to do a video today to talk about the upcoming reissues from Paul McCartney uh, in his archive collection, Wings Wildlife and Red Rose Speedway. Uh, I was fortunate enough this past week to receive uh, the digital copies um, the promo uh, digital copies from Universal Music for the purpose of review. So thank you to Universal Music uh, for that. <clears throat> and I think I'm just going to talk about the bonus tracks um, in this review. Um, I just want to say that the album remasters for both uh, Wildlife and Under Video are phenomenal. Um, such a clean, crisp sound, and you can really the instruments better um, I thought and I just want to take a moment to like let's appreciate Paul's bass playing on Luke the first Eddie down the moon from Murder Speedway absolutely phenomenal phenomenal uh, bass playing from Sir Paul so I'm gonna go over to the bonus tracks um, first for wildlife uh, the first five bonus tracks are good rocking tonight beat bop hey diddle she got it good and I am your singer. Um, those are from the home um, recordings from Scotland back in 1971. You may have you may have seen the footage on Wingspan uh, where Paul and Linda, Paul with you know the beard and uh, very you know very uh, humble look um, with his acoustic guitar. They're just <laughs> playing and running through songs uh, with the kids playing around them on the farm in Scotland and that's what those are from. Um, so I think we heard Beep Bop and Wingspan. Um, so Good Rocking Tonight, um, Beep Bop, Hey Diddle, She Gotta Get an I'm Your Singer, all, all very cool. Um, I thought it was really a nice intimate intimate uh, songs like you you felt like like when you listen to those tracks you feel like you're transported back to 1971 you know you're on you're laying laying in the grass with Paul and Linda and the kids and you're listening to Paul play and you just sing these songs and it's and it's really something um, to cherish I think early McCartney um, there's also three outtakes they're labeled outtake one, outtake two, outtake three, and those are just really, really short instrumental pieces. Uh, nothing to write home about. I think they last between 12 and 30 seconds. Um, well, they're pretty cool. They're really, really just snippets, and I'm not really sure what the point of including them on here was, as they're so brief. You could have easily filled, filled it out with a few more um, outtakes, but that's just me. They're cool though. Um, the next we have two home recordings of Dear Friend. Um, absolutely gorgeous. Uh, the first one is the full length version. Um, it's just Paul and and the piano, and it's you can really feel the raw emotion in Paul's voice as he sings those lyrics to John as a response to uh, How Do You Sleep From Imagine. And the second one is just a shorter version of the same song, uh, both, again, uh, Paul's on piano. Uh, and it's shorter by about two minutes. Uh, Indeed I Do is just a nice little acoustic, acoustic number with uh, Paul and Linda singing. And my dog wants in. Hi Milo. I've already just seen what I'm, what I'm up to. So I'm, uh, I'll be out here in a minute. Um, so next we have When the Wind is Blowing and The Great Cock and Seagull Race. Uh, both of those are pretty good. Uh, not two of my favorites, but they're still cool. And then of course you have the single uh, Give Ireland Back to the Irish. And then you have a, an instrumental version, um, an alternate version of Give Ireland Back to the Irish. And it's like it has a really funky uh, instrument playing throughout. I'm not quite. It's, maybe it's a, like a, some sort of weird piano. I'm not. I'm not a musician, so I don't 
don't know a lot of the instruments. Um, but yeah, that makes it really funky. And then you got the Love is Strange single edit and African Yeah Yeah. <laughs> Um, if you had to pick one song and you're like, yeah, Paul McCartney's on pot right there, it would be African Yeah Yeah. Um, still, it's a, you know, it's a nice little ditty. So that is the bonus tracks on, uh, Wildlife. Now, now we go to Redway Speedway. And first of all, we have... The first four, yeah, the first four, of course, Mary Had a Little Lamb, uh, which was a single re re released by Wings. Uh, probably the oddest choice for a single that Paul McCartney has ever released in his career. Uh, and it still became somewhat of a hit. I mean, that's the power of Paul McCartney back in the early 70s. It's incredible. Uh, little Woman Love is a nice little piano number. Uh, of course, High, High, High. That got banned, which of course made it even more popular. Uh, sea Moon, phenomenal. I remember the first time that I heard Sea Moon actually was back in 2002. Uh, I went to go see Paul in concert for the first time, and at the mo at that time I was still getting, you know, kind of making my way through Paul's catalog, and um, I hadn't heard Sea Moon up to that point. So when I heard it in concert, I, I thought that, that was a really cool number. And uh, I was like, oh, what's this? This is, this is really cool. Um, so I went home and listened to the studio version. And, you know, I love it to this day. So it has a sort of a soft spot in my heart <clears throat> for Sea Moon. Uh, next we have The Mess, which was Live at the Hag. Um, this is, of course, the, the B-side. Uh, from one of the singles from Red Rose Speedway. On this version, they chopped off Paul's spoken word introduction, which is fine with me. I mean, it sounds great. I love the early live wing stuff. And of course, uh, next you have Live and Let Die. Uh, you know, the James Bond song, Phenomenal, which was a big hit, and the best James Bond theme song, in my opinion, right up there next to Skyfall. And uh, next we have I Lie Around, a wonderful piece, uh, nice singing here by Denny Lane. Uh, then you have Night Out, which is a nice jam. Um, I think just between Paul and Denny Sywell, if I remember. Absolutely phenomenal. It's only about two and a half minutes, but I wish it were longer. Um, Country Dreamer, and I think Country Dreamer was on the Down the Run reissue as well. Um, it's a good song. Uh, then Linda makes an appearance with Seaside Woman. Uh, Seaside Woman is my favorite out of Linda's songs. Uh, I think it's much better than Cook at the House. Uh, then you have an underrated Paul classic in terms of unreleased songs, a live version of Best Friend. Absolutely phenomenal. Uh, Mama's Little Girl. It's a, it's a cute little number. Very sweet. And... I Would Only Smile is the next song, um, Denny Lane. I'm so happy for Denny that one of his songs finally makes an appearance on an archive release, and it's about time. Now I just hope Jimmy gets one of his songs included on London Town, one of his that he was working on during that time period. Uh, next you have Tragedy, another classic unreleased Paul, Paul song. Uh, Thank You Darling, another unreleased song. Um, 1882, Live in Berlin, fantastic. 1882 is one of my favorite um, unreleased Paul songs. It's, it's such a jam, a very bluesy jam. And I think the, the majority of these, the bonus tracks on here um, were to make up the double album, which I feel... That Red Rose as a, as a single album is a bit up and down and consistent. Um, if it would have, but it's still one of my favorite albums. Um, I, I feel like if it would have been made a double album, it would have been, uh, it would, this would have made the album that much better. Okay, where did I leave off? Jazz Street. Oh my gosh, I love Jazz Street. So happy that it's included here. It sounds great. It's such a jam. 
And then finally, we have that great take of Live and Let Die, the group only take, uh, take 10. I love that ending. And yeah, so unfortunately, I didn't get a chance to get any of the, um, the physical promotional review copies because those are extremely limited. But uh, like I said, I was fortunate to receive uh, the digital copies um, for review. So thanks again to Universal Music and and I highly recommend you guys check out the, the Wildlife and Retro Speedway Archive and Collection sets coming out uh, December 7th, along with um, a live Wings 1971 and 1973 box set in addition to Wildlife and Retro Speedway. I know it's a bit expensive, but come on, it's Wings. It's worth the wait and the price. So that's it for me. Uh, have a great weekend and talk to you later.